So we have got a fabulous litter today. I'm assisted today by Natalie. She's behind the camera. She's going to be hand out, handing off the puppies, and she'll be watching for your comments. So if you have any comments, let us know who's here. If you have questions, feel free to ask them, and we're going to get started. So excited. Okay, everybody, let's take a look at Mom and Dad. Here they are. Okay, this is the Meet the Parents. Annabelle is an F1B small golden doodle. And as you can see, she is 29 pounds. And she was bred to Lorenzo, who is 22 pounds, and he's a little miniature poodle, which makes these F1BB small golden doodles. These are teddy bear English golden doodles, and these puppies will be approximately 25 pounds at maturity, okay? Now the F1BB generation is the most allergy-friendly generation of golden doodles that we have. And so if you're just determined that you want to have a golden doodle and you have allergies and you're concerned about it, if you scheduled a allergy visit here at the estate, you would start off when you got to the golden doodle generation with an F1BB if we had one available for you to meet. So as you all know, the most allergy friendly breed that we have are our teddy bear schnoodles. For all of you, we breed with a purpose. And so breeding with a purpose is making sure that we are breeding for healthy puppies that are low to non shedding, allergy friendly. The schnoodle is the most allergy friendly. Next, after that, is gonna be the teddy bear twoodle because that's a combination of the golden doodle and the schnoodle, okay guys? So today, we're with the golden doodle generation and let me show you the puppy pictures first, girls first today. We're gonna show you the baby girls. Okay, there are three baby girls. There, there's red tag, pink tag, white tag, and we're gonna introduce them to you. And you're gonna see that all the puppies in this litter today are chocolate, except for one baby girl. And you can spot her right here. This was her, I think these were her two or three week old pictures, okay? Not sure if she took them at two or three. Two weeks, okay. So two week old photos, but let's introduce Pink Tag Girl first, okay? Oh my goodness. Take a look at this baby girl. Let me hold her up to the camera. Look at this head and look at this face. Look how sweet she is. That is such a beautiful head. You know what I love? Even with our small golden doodles, they are still carrying that big, blocky, pretty head. And as you can see her little head, look at her. Isn't she just precious? And it, she's got the cute little curls on her ears and the waves on the top of her hair. And so I'm going to turn her around and let you see the back of her. The back side of her is just really nice. She's got a really nice thick plush coat. So this is our sweet little pink tag girl. Now I know that we have one person on the litter. We haven't done the temperament test yet. Once we do that, we'll determine who will be the breeder's pick, who will be, we've got a client in the first client spot, and I don't know if that client is wanting um, the full 16-week school or service or therapy, don't know that at the moment, but we'll be working on that shortly, okay? But the first client will always be able to give us their first and second pick favorite puppy based on the looks of the puppy and based on the temperament test. And then we'll try to match them because at the end of the day, as pretty as a puppy is temperament rules. We always wanna match you with the puppy you love and the right temperament. Okay, now let's introduce Red Tag Girl. I'm gonna leave little sister there. I think that they're fine. Natalie will keep her eye on them. This is sweet little Red Tag Girl and pretty much identical little clones of each other. They're twin sisters. There's no white on any of these puppies, these two at all. Same beautiful coat. Look, I'm gonna just scroll, turn this around. I'm gonna scroll this, I'm gonna twirl this around. 
But look at their coats. You can see the back of their coats. Their heads are almost identical. And I'm gonna turn them back around for you guys. It's a merry-go-round. Natalie, are there any people saying anything right now? Any comments? If so, just let me know. Or just say hello. Okay. All right. And then we're going to introduce you to the littlest baby girl. She's sound asleep right now. Hi, Shelby. We got to wake up, white tech girl. She's so tiny. Now, our smalls are not able to go home until they are a little bit um, older. They have to be 10 to 12 weeks old, depending on their size, okay? She's a she is a little baby girl. Look at her. Look, she got some chocolate on her, but it's right on her nose. It's her pigmentation, her paw pads. Let's take a look. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna slide this baby over. Natalie, if you'll move this baby over. Yeah, we wanna keep this right here. It's in the center camera. Yeah, just do that, okay. All right, so what you wanna see about her is she's pretty much got that same coat. It's just that it's a creamy colored coat. But she is the tiniest little girl, and she's got the light eyes, and she's got the chocolate nose, chocolate pigmentation, and she's like, I was sound asleep, guys. Look how sweet. These are the sisters. Annabelle's F1 BB Smalls. And you are really interested, aren't you, in everything that's happening? She's so cute. So they've got beautiful coats. Like I said, they're allergy friendly. Um, they're just fabulous puppies. They will grow up to be incredibly beautiful dogs with with very pretty plush allergy friendly low to non shedding coats so i think that you couldn't go wrong with any of these three all right guys i'm going to show you the boys we're going to start off by looking at the boys picture when they were two weeks old and natalie is going to take these babies back let's go ahead and take a look at them and she'll put these little girls down. Now the boys, as you can see, all of the boys are beautifully chocolate coated boys. But as you can see, there's a few white toes in the litter. So we've got to check those out. All right, so once these puppies go back with their litter, we will bring them back. Okay, perfect. Little sweet baby girl. All right, there you go. Okay. So we're going to go and introduce to you the boys. We're going to start with Blue Tag Boy. Let's get this back in the shot for y'all, right where it needs to be. Is that good, Will? You like that? Perfect. Okay. All right. Good deal. Good job, Nat. Let's see. The first boy is Blue Tag Boy. I see him. He's so cute. I just love doing doodle drop on Wednesday. Oh my goodness, let's take a look at you. See, I'm a little guy and I do have some white toes. I've got white toes right here on my left foot. And I have got a few, a few little tips on the back, all right? So we have a quick question, what is that? Well, she's going to probably be, you know, you've got a 22-pound parent and a 25, so there's a good chance she's leaning towards the smaller end. We said the average would be 25 pounds, but just like this little boy, he seems to be quite tiny right now. And so 22 pounds, I mean, I usually think they're going to be right around the parent's weights. Every now and then you'll have a smaller one because you've got some uh, throwback genes from grandparents that were a little smaller. Yes. Okay, that's Blue Tag Boy. Let's introduce to you uh, Sleepy Head right here. And green Tag Boy is making his way up. He's getting his bow tie fixed. He's got to come out looking smashing today. Uh, and he has um, gotten his little claws on uh, Natalie's blanket. <laughs> She's like, I can't get them off. We haven't cut their nails yet. They, they're still little. 
Okay, and here you go. Look at this baby. Oh my gosh, identical twins. Except you don't have the toes. You do not have the white toes. Okay. He is a little chunkier. As you can see, look at this little belly. Look how sweet he is. Look at that face, y'all. Absolutely precious. So cute. Nice coats. All of these puppies have fabulous coats and very pretty heads. That is something that I really work hard to produce is our puppies with beautiful, big, blocky heads. I'm a head person. I really like to see beautiful heads. All right, and let's introduce you to the big boy in the litter. Big boy in the litter. I'm going to move this little boy over so I can put orange tag boy out. Okay, isn't he a precious one too? But as you can see, we have triplets <laughs> because they look so consistent. The look is very consistent. The heads are very consistent, the coat. So if you're on this litter and you are, you know, first pick person, you really can't go wrong with any puppy in this litter. They all look pretty much the same color, the same head type pretty close to the same size. Blue's a little smaller now, but, oh, you gonna talk to me? That's okay, you talking to me. I love that. I love that they're paying attention and they're starting to try to like play together. Take a look at that. Let's see what's going on here. Aren't they cute? They're so pretty. Okay, so if you're just joining us, these are the Annabelle F1 BB small teddy bear golden doodles. These puppies will be ready to go home October the 8th or to prep school that week, depending on what day Thursday is of that week. But that's the day they'll be ready to go home. But we are right now accepting applications for these beautiful puppies. And if you are interested in getting a puppy in October and then sending your puppy to 8, 10, 12 weeks of prep school, this would be a great Christmas litter. So if you've got any more questions about this litter, please feel free to post in the thread below. We'll be watching it. Natalie and the um, other adoption team specialists will feel, you know, they'll be answering your questions. Taylor is watching. And so we'll make sure we answer them or call the office. We would love for you to give us a call, ask about the puppies, learn more about this particular litter. So guys, we are so excited to introduce them to you today. Um, give us a call. Like I said, get your application in because the most important thing to do is to get your application in. That's how you get a puppy from us. You have to get approved first. All right, guys, you have a wonderful doodle drop Wednesday day. And I'm going to be back in, in the next little while, a little after four. I still have some cuteness to show you. You hear what he's got to say, green tag. Is talking about it. He talking about it. You got a little attitude already. Yes, you do. I love that. I love a little feisty one. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you. See you later. Bye.